India. Incredibly magical. A land full of mystical treasures. Also known world over for its unique culinary heritage and many premium agro products. From the lofty mountains of Kashmir to the sun-baked Malabar coast. From the bustling streets of Kolkata to the majestic fortresses of Rajasthan. The combination of rice and curry has always been the most favoured meal option for Indians. Amanat Basmati Rice epitomizes the spirit of a unique, incredible India and brings the finest of food products to the global palate. Spreading its matchless aroma, Amanat. In cases some of the world's most popular brands of rice. Navbharat International Limited, a global food company, ranks among India's most effective and reliable private companies, focusing on its core product, Basmati rice, with a continuous emphasis to build onto its overall rice product portfolio, serving markets worldwide. This evolved business of Navbharat was the brainchild of an industrial and humble man, the late Sri Madan Lalji, born in 1920. Navbharat International Limited What you see today has successfully grown from strength to strength. The company is expanding into new horizons with a missionary zeal and a dynamic team under the leadership of a strong visionary, Mr. Parvesh Goyal, who is the chairman and managing director. Mr. Bhushan Goyal and Mr. Rakesh Goyal are the joint managing directors of the company. Some of the milestones which are eyed by our dynamic retina are global availability and high quality products with traditional and latest technologies. Amanat Basmati Rice which stands out as one of the most flourishing brands known for its matchless taste, a delicate aroma and texture which is extremely popular amongst the household. They are Amanat Premium Basmati Rice Amanat Gold Basmati Rice Amanat Popular Sela Basmati Rice The company's other brands are Vardhan, Viceroy, Arman, Pakiza, KK, Double Pigeon, Atithi and Chantara. All these brands are strategically targeted through a strong distribution network spread across all states of India from rural to urban, from a small Kirana shop to all organized renowned retail chains located in all major cities of India. The manufacturing facilities of the company are spread across three state-of-the-art plants in the hub of major rice growing areas of the country. The first milling and processing plant is in Kashipur, Rudhapur, Uttar Pradesh, which has a milling capacity of 1 lakh metric tons per year. The second unit is at Alipur, GT Road, Delhi, which has a production capacity of 80,000 metric tons per year. The third unit is in Kakinada port, located in Andhra Pradesh, which has a rice processing and packing capacity of 2 lakh metric tons per year. Its rice milling, processing and packaging plants are strategically located in the heart of paddy growing regions in India. The units are well equipped with paddy pre-cleaners de-stoners, precision sizers, de-huskers, paddy separators, polishers, fine cleaners, magnetic separators, length graders and finally color sorters. The company has a stringent quality policy and has the coveted status of being an ISO 9001-2000 Global HACCP certified food company. These distinct manufacturing facilities churn out a variety of rice products. Brown Cargo Basmati Rice White Raw Milled Basmati Rice Parboiled Brown Basmati Rice Creamy Color Parboiled Brown Basmati Rice Golden Color Parboiled Mill Sela Basmati Rice Creamy Color Parboiled Milled Sela Basmati Rice Golden Color Non Basmati Long Grain and Medium Grain White Rice having brokens ranging from 25% 15%, 10% to 5%. Non Basmati long grain parboiled rice having brokens ranging from 15 to 5%. And 100% broken white rice. 
Australia. The deed of world class standards, which is hygienic and pilfer proof. Every package that leaves the premises has batch numbers, barcodes, and lot numbers, ensuring total traceability. The company has a full fledged R&D facility where the latest machines and equipments are made available to the finest brains in food technology to come up with world class products. Presently, the company is exporting rice to major food groups and trading companies across the globe. In the Basmati rice export segment, raw white milled Basmati rice shipped to consumers in USA, Canada, Australia, Gulf and Middle Eastern countries including Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, Oman, Bahrain and UAE. Annually, the company is exporting half a million tons of Indian non-Basmati rice to African and CIS countries. Today, the company is a potent force all set to become a giant FMCG global food company. The market share of Nav Bharat is 15% and is fast striving to develop new markets. The company has grown tremendously over the last 10 years. The total turnover of Nav Bharat Group was 128 crore rupees in 1998. In 2008, the total turnover rose up to 500 crore rupees. By the year 2010, it is estimated to grow to 650 crore rupees. The company truly deserves all the prestigious accolades in terms of awards bestowed upon it for its sheer performance. In pursuit of strategic business development and growth, Nav Bharat International Limited has diversified into steel and power business in India. The company has set up state-of-the-art steel plant in the northern Indian state of Uttarakhand for the production of steel bars by commissioning of Temcore technology from CRM Belgium. In the power sector, Nav Bharat has set up a wind farm to harness the power of wind for country's social and economic growth. Thus, in its quest for excellence, Nav Bharat forges ahead to make an indelible mark on the global market.